my name is Jacqueline, and I'll be giving a presentation with Daniel Sharina and Sarah Torgeson on the estimation of manufacturing cost. I'm going to be going over factors that affect the overall cost, um, cost of operating labor, chemical market reporter, manufacturing and steam, utilities, supply of utilities, cooling water tower, steam production, algorithm for steam balance, and treating liquid and solid waste. So factors that affect the cost. There's three types. There's direct manufacturing cost, and these vary with the production rate. Some examples are raw materials, waste treatment, and utilities. Another type of cost is fixed manufacturing cost. There are independent of changes in the production rate, and they're typically um, examples you'll see are property taxes, insurance, and depreciation. General expenses are, um, they, can they can decrease with an extended period of low production levels, um, examples are management, sales, financing, and research functions. So factors that affect manufacturing cost. Here's a general equation you can use. It's cost of manufacturing equals direct manufacturing cost plus fixed manufacturing cost and the general expenses. So here's a breakdown. The direct manufacturing cost is the cost of raw materials plus the cost of waste treatment plus utilities cost. And uh, Sarah G. Guys, I, I was up here in a hurry and I left the book. There's a table, so you're seeing these numbers like 1.33 and 0 .069. In Chapter 8, there's uh, 8.2 is a table. You'll see this, and it gives you the range for those numbers and the average. So the And then the next line is the typical equation you'll see for fixed manufacturing cost. And the third one is the one you'll typically see for uh, general expenses. Now, as previously I said that like the 0 .068, it can vary. There, if you look at your table in A2, it will give you a range. So, cost of operating labor. So, the number of operating, the number of operators you need per shift is equal to 6.29 plus 31.2 number of the processing particulate solids plus the 0.23 numbers of non-particulate processing steps. So, the processing of particulate solid is typically transportation distribution, size control and removal, and non-particulate is compression, heating, and cooling mixture and reaction. Daniel 